so I'm just going to show you this uh, little light studio that I bought it's um it's by a company called Polos. Um I got it from Amazon it's a 30 centimeter foldable LED ring light studio and it's got like a ring light at the top of the box so if you wanted to photograph anything like products like small products you can use this it's got like backgrounds you can put in and it's got a little um you can adjust the t intensity of the light as well with a little switch i have already used it i'm just going to show you what's in the box so so these are the backgrounds that go in the back you could have got white and you've got like a beige color a blue green a red and a black and this is a little box it's just like a flat pack very easy to store and then it's got this switch so with the switch you switch it on with the on button and you can increase the light either using the plus button or using the the minus button there let's take it out of the box So it's easy it opens, you just pull it apart really and uh, it's got this bit, it's, it, when you fold it up that goes up and then you can just easily fold it together so to open it you just pull that down and flatten it to the bottom and then this is the ring light, you can have it so that this, the light shines on the side of the product or you turn it up over you can have it so it shines down on the product You've also got a hole here that you can put your camera through and you can leave that shut if you don't want it open. And then you can put your product in to take a picture of. You can have a flash pointing through the top if you want to. So, um, so this is a USB plug. It plugs into a USB plug like this one. So I'm just going to plug this in now. like that so I'm just going to press this on and you can see the ring lights have come on so if you have a look I'll just turn this down a little bit this um, just drop the light on the camera just so you can see so it's got one set of ring lights like that and then if you press the middle button on the little control where it's got like um, I'll just show you this middle button. So, um, this middle button has got like an S, like, looks like an S, like an arrow up and an arrow down. If you press that, I'll just show you there. If I press that S, it gives you the outside, and if you press it twice, you get two lots of rings. So you can have the inner ring, the outer ring, and you can have two sets of rings by pressing that. And then you can increase the intensity so you can get even brighter light by doing that. So if we increase this back up, see how bright it gets inside. And then you can put your product in there and you can take a picture of your product. You could put a flash or you could just take a picture above using your camera pointing through the hole so to put the background in stop this down a little bit. so it's got like an elastic here so that will just go if you wanted a white background for example it will go and you just snap it under the elastic there and then this bit can just you can just pull it out a bit or where you want it. So if we just switch the light back on. So I've got the light on now, it's really quite white in there now. I'm just going to take a picture of a perfume bottle, I'll just stick that in there. 
and I'll just get my camera. So there's the bottle in the thing. See the lights above, I've got it on, two lights. And the bottle just in front of the white background. I'll just move this camera over so I can take a picture with my camera. So I've got the perfume bottle in the box and um, I'm going to take an image now with the camera. Um, I've got a 50mm lens on the end of my camera. So what I've got here is I've got the aperture on 1.8 which is the lowest for this lens. I've got the shutter speed on the 250th of a second and the ISO 100. The reason why I've got such a low aperture is because I want to try and get the background out of focus so there's not really any detail in the background. So this um, you can see the the uh, image I've taken. I will show the I will um, I'll just show you the settings there. So it was one two hundred and fiftieth one point eight aperture and I saw one hundred and I will put this in Photoshop and show you the finished image. So here's the image from the Canon camera. This was using just a little flash on top of the camera. And um, you can see the background isn't completely white. So you can see from the image, um, the bottle is exposed, but the background is looks a bit greyish uh, in places. Um, you can leave it like that if you want to, but if you wanted to cut the bottle out completely, it's quite easy to do in Photoshop. So all you need to do um, for a simple shape like this is you just have to untick the lock. You just click on the lock to unlock it. And then you go on Window and then you go on Properties and then there's this little Remove Background box pops up and you just click on Remove Background. And that will remove the background. Um, if you zoom in you can see there's a little bit left at the bottom there of the shadow. So you can just use the rubber off the left hand side there and you can just rub that out. And then if you wanted to have, I mean, if you save this as a JPEG, it would automatically fill in this as white anyway. If you want to see what it looks like with the white background, just add another layer underneath, drag that underneath, just by clicking on the Add button here, and then dragging that underneath with your mouse. And then to, you need to fit, make sure this is highlighted. And then if we go in here, look for the Paint Booker tool, and then we just click in the space. I've got the paint booker tool. Paint booker tool, and then we'll click in that space, and then it'll fill in the background in white like that. So that's how you can do that in Photoshop. So that's uh, quite easy to do using the light box. I didn't have to use any external flashes, although I did use a little flash on the top of the camera. Um, you can just use the iPhone as well. Let's just do one with an iPhone and see what that looks like. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro. So I've taken an image with the iPhone. And you can see the background looks a bit grey looking. And uh, let me just see what settings the camera used. So you can see the camera used... Um, Aperture 1.5, ISO 40, and 203 shutter speed, which isn't a lot of difference to what I used, um, but there was no flash on it. So I'm going to see if it will do it with a flash. So I'll show you this image. Uh, I'll put it into Photoshop to brighten it a bit. Um, so that is without the flash. You can see... The background is a little bit on the grey side um, without the flash. So with the flash, you can see the slight shadow behind the bottle. I tried turning the box, um, it didn't really make a difference. There was still a shadow behind the bottle. 
I don't know what phone you use, but um, you know you can still you can still use a smartphone to take images of the product. It will light the product really well. Um, it's just that it might make the back. You can't actually cut it out in Photoshop. So as you can see from this image, the uh, images were taken with the iPhone. The one on the left was with a flash. The one on the right was without the flash. So the one on the left, you can see a slight shadow because of the flash behind the bottle. There's no shadow behind the other bottle that didn't have the flash. But there is a slight shadow underneath each bottle due to the light from above. You can see the bottles are well exposed in this uh, light box. If you wanted to get a completely white background, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to either have an off-camera flash to go in the little hole at the top of the cube or you're going to have to cut out the subject in Photoshop so it gets a white background that way. So let's just have a look at the back of the box. So what it says is um, the studio box features adopting high CRI colour temperature, ring fill light board, built-in stone pattern cloth, good condensing effect, portable, Fold and easy to assemble in three seconds. Quick fold and a good three dimensional effect. Suitable for shooting products such as jewellery, accessories, toys, watches, gadgets, and other items. The LED specifications number of beads 112, high display lamp beads, lamp bead model 2835, lamp bead brightness 24 to 26. Um, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Um, colour temperature 5500k, you've got a dimming range between 1% and 100%. So um, it's got a 2 metre length cable. So, so that is the Polos 30cm foldable LED ring light studio. So it is quite handy if you want to shoot any kind of products that are small because it is only 30 centimetres, like cubed. Um, and if you wanted to shoot bigger products, you can buy bigger uh, light boxes than this. Um, so thank you for watching. Until the next video, bye for now.